A VEC in Rust is kind of like an array, but there's uh, there's more functionality. They're um, they're a lot more uh, useful unless you want like the the extra speed of an array. But uh, of course, uh, yeah, everything in Rust is pretty fast, so uh, VECs are not uh, are not super slow. They're just uh, not quite as performant as uh, as an array, and uh, they are. Um, they're kind of. Uh, I'll show you uh, how to uh, how to start one. So let's say you want to. Um, uh, let's have a few names here. So uh, we'll call this one Windy and name two Gomzy and then let name three. <clears throat> and these are the uh, the names of my cats. And uh, and what happens is we can. Uh, it's kind of like a. One way to make a vec is kind of like making a string. Uh, we'll call it uh, my vec equals vec new, which is uh, you know you have a string new as well as uh, no vec new. And then right now um, this will not work yet because uh, Rust doesn't know what the type is. It has no idea. There's nothing in there, so uh, it uh, it can't uh, it can't uh, run this program. So what you can do is uh, use this method called push and we will push uh, name one in there and then uh, right away the uh, the problem is gone because it knows that uh, that this is a vec of uh, stirs or strings I'm yeah there's a vec of stirs I wanted to make these strings there we are Not new from string from. There we are. So we wanted a vec of strings, and I'm going to push the rest of them in. Name two and my vec dot push name three. And now we have our vec, and we can uh, see what's inside it. We do that and uh, my vec. And that is wrong. There we go. Print line with a bang. There we go. <clears throat> so, uh, by the way, sometimes if it takes uh, a long time, it's because of the uh, the playground, not because Rust is slow. This is a this is a really small program, so it would not actually take uh, take all this time. But there are the, uh, the three cat names in there. Uh, of course, uh, you can also see there we go. Now it's 0 0.8 seconds. Uh, we can also just uh, declare a type. So we can say uh, that my vec vec string equals uh, vec new. And you'll you'll notice that you uh, you put the type inside angle brackets. And uh, the same as an array, there can only be uh, only one type. So you can't have a, you know, push a string and then push a stir and then push an I-64. Uh, you can't do that. Uh, one other way to uh, to make a vec is we have this, uh, this convenient vec macro. And that's all you do. You write vec and then you uh, just kind of write out anything you want inside the square brackets and it uh, it looks like an array, but uh, you're using a macro, and this makes it into a vec. And then uh, slicing is... Uh, we saw this uh, last time with our, uh, with our array of 10, and you can do the exact same thing with, uh, with vex. You can have like a, uh, a vec with 10 numbers, and then uh, there you go. You slice it using the, uh, the reference, the, uh, the ampersand. And then you have your your first index, your last index. Um, these two uh, two dots mean go to the end, and this means you know start from the beginning and go up to index five, not including index five. And then this is the uh, the whole thing. And so you can see uh, it's the same as the uh, the example we saw last time, except this time it is a vec. Now the thing about uh, vectors is they are kind of they're like a um, the, the the data is on the heap, 
And uh, so the VEC itself is a smart pointer. So it's a pointer that uh, has some extra information and then it, uh, it points to, to the data. And uh, one of the, uh, the things uh, a VEC has is a uh, capacity. And uh, here's how that works. So, uh, so let's start with a, uh, a, new, a new VEC and then we are going to uh, print its capacity. And so capacity is the amount of space that you're giving to a VEC. <clears throat> and you actually don't have to think about this. Uh, Rust will, uh, will change the capacity to meet any VEC, so it's not going to, uh, it's not going to overflow. But if you want to, uh, if you want to make your, your VEX faster, actually, I haven't put anything in there. Let's make this a VEC of uh, stars. Actually, no, I want chars. There we go. So there you go. So it starts out with a capacity of zero, and that makes sense because uh, we're not uh, we don't have anything in there, so there's no reason to uh, to allocate memory. Uh, so let's uh, let's push numvec push, and let's push a uh, letter a in there, and then uh, let's see what the uh, the capacity is now. And there you go. So it starts at four, although there's one item in it. So the VEC itself just looks like uh, this, and there's room for uh, for three more. So you've got a, a space here, a space here, and a space here. And then, uh, so then what happens when you uh, when you push some more? So let's uh, one, two, three, four. Let's push four more. So that will be five items. So now we'll be uh, over the capacity, and let's see uh, what the new capacity is. And there you go, it's eight. So you can see it uh, it just doubles it. And uh, so if you're taking like a, a VEC and you're pushing like, a, let's say uh, for I in, uh, we haven't done loops yet, but, uh, or flow control, I mean. Um, and let's say you want to, you know, push, push there. Uh, give it uh, 10,000 A's, and then uh, you want to check the capacity. Let's see, do, 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 do. there we go, I forgot to do that. Zero to 10,000. <clears> so there you go. Now the capacity is 16,384. So anyway, when you, uh, whenever you go over the, uh, over the capacity, then it'll allocate the memory again. And uh, one way to uh, to speed this up is to have a uh, a vec instead of a vec new. You change it to a vec with capacity, and then you put a number in there. So let's uh, let's take this out, and uh, you know, let's imagine that uh, let's say we have five here, and we're not going to have more than five. So we start out with a with a vec with uh, enough space for all of our five a's, and there you go. So it starts out with five. Uh, so it's got space for five, uh, and then we add uh, one more, one more, one more, one more until we have five, and that's uh, that's one way to uh, to speed up your vex. If you know uh, what the capacity is going to be, or you have uh, some rough idea, then you can give it a number that is equal to or a little bit more than uh, than the number of items that you think it's going to need. And uh, so there are a few ways like that to uh, to speed up your vectors. And then the last one, uh, the last point I wanted to make was, uh, if you remember this, uh, this method there, into, you can, um, you can take uh, arrays and you can use this into method to turn them into a vec. Let's take that out. So there you go. There's a. Uh, so let's say we have uh, you know this one, these numbers one, two, and three, and we want to make it into a vec. Uh, one way to do it is this into, which makes it into an owned type, which is what a vector is, and then we'll we'll specify that uh, this we want these to be u8s. 
And if you don't, uh, if you don't care about the type and uh, Rust can figure it out, you can use this uh, this underscore, just one. And this means a vector of uh, whatever you choose for me, if you can figure it out. And you know that Rust will, uh, it'll choose an i32. So if you do this, this is the same as writing a vec of i32s.